Oh man, this is intense. You don't realize how scary it's gonna be to actually go underground until you're about to go in underground. All right, are we set? Yeah, I think we're ready here. All right, one, two, here we go. Oh man, there are spiders everywhere in here. Dude, they're like all over the place. There is a really good reason as to why West Virginia is nicknamed the Mountain State. It is literally blanketed by the Appalachian Range, and from an aerial perspective, the sight is absolutely breathtaking. Today, the crew and I are following some precise GPS coordinates near Lewisburg, with the initial goal of locating a protected conservation site that is home to one very rare animal. We can't reveal the exact location, but let's just say, this will be an adventure unlike anything we have embarked upon before. Wow, that's pretty steep. I can see why you may stumble upon a cave oh on a mountainside like that. Well, we're gonna hike in there. Yeah, all right, well, let's uh, get set up with the gear and uh, head off trail. Working under special permission granted by the West Virginia Department of Natural Resources, we will be spelunking into the darkness to search for one of the state's rarest amphibians, the cave salamander. However, in order to find one of these elusive creatures, first, we had to find the cave. All right, this is where we leave civilization behind. I have one foot on gravel road, one foot in the forest. It's adventure time. It's kind of tough to keep your bearings in here because all of these trees have so many branches. When you just stare through it, I don't know if you can catch it on camera, but it's very disorienting to just stare in one direction. Green and all these streaks of brown coming out in all directions. Now, I'm actually listening for water. Once we start to hear water, we know that we'll be getting close to the creek that runs out of this cave. So, say we just keep moving over along this ridge line and uh, keep your ears peeled. All right. Oh! A little slippy, huh? A little slippery. Yeah, this is uh, ah, right. ah, stinging nettle. Ooh. Ah, wow. Yeah, this is a, this is a tough off trail. That's for sure. This is really treacherous. Let's put my arm in stinging nettle. And we're watching out for rattlesnakes. Getting to this cave is not going to be easy. All right, Mario, come on up. <clears throat> Got it. Oh, here's the game trail. Oh yeah, let me see. Look at that. Deer, fox, coyote, maybe even bears probably use this trail. So, right place, right time for something like that. All right, let's follow it. Oh wait, here, this, this looks good. Check this out. Oh, here we go. Uh, now we're getting into more rocky terrain. Here we go. This looks like it's right. actually a dry creek bed. Yeah, let me listen for a second. I hear water. Shh, shh, shh. Can you hear that? It's faint, but it's all the way down there. And you can see there's all these large rocks. Definitely looks like the kind of area where you would find a cave. All right, let's make our way down this. Just watch your footing. Right. I think we're getting close, guys. All right. This is the mouth of the cave. Come over here. Wow. Yep. I would definitely say this is a cave. Looks like a cave. But this is not the cave that we want. The cave we want is through there. A shine my light in there. Can you see back in there at all? Let me see. Oh yeah. Yeah. So we gotta go through that. We're gonna have to army crawl through that. I think what's gonna be best is to put the cameras in dry bags leave any gear outside that we don't need to take in, and literally submerge ourselves into this. You wanna find cave salamanders, you have to go into a cave. You guys up for this? Let's do it. All right, so for safety precautions, 
We're gonna actually have Mario on the outside of the cave. Until we got to this moment, we didn't really think about the fact that, wow, this is really dangerous, guys. Never, ever, ever go into a cave by yourself. Make sure you're always with another person and make sure you leave somebody on the outside. In the event that some rocks were to fall down and we got trapped in there, Mario is gonna be the one who goes for help. Yeah, because I mean, look, it's, it's crumbly, guys. Yeah. Like, stuff's just seriously falling down. All right, we got everything I need in here. All right, Mario. Good luck, guys. Tell my family I love them if we don't return. Oh man, this is intense. You don't realize how scary it's gonna to be to actually go underground until you're about to go in underground. All right, are we set? Yeah, I think we're ready here. All right, one, two, here we go. Whoa, that's cold. Oh boy. Whoa, that's crazy up there. It opens up a little bit in here. Yeah? Quite a bit. Whoa, I got a big salamander right here. Yeah? That's a spring salamander. Wow, look at that guy. Oh, nice. I'm not gonna disturb him. That's not exactly what we're looking for. All right, we gotta go. Oh man, there are spiders everywhere in here. But just be careful where you place your hands so that you don't actually get one on you. Got it. This is absolutely crazy. All right, you guys come up through there. I'm going to scout up ahead here and see if this all stays pretty low. It's pretty eerie. There's spiders everywhere. The rock formations are incredible. The water is freezing cold. This is unlike any environment I have ever been in before. And I'll tell you what, it is extremely nerve wracking to be underground like this. You see the ceiling is just above my head there. It's pretty noisy with all the rushing water, but this is pretty cool. I'm just really trying to be methodical with my searching, looking at every single one of these little cracks and crevices great spot for these salamanders. Wow, this cavern is pretty open. I can actually stand in here. There's a cave salamander right there. Where? Look, 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 right here, climbing up the side of those rocks. Right up your flashlight. Right here. Check oh, yeah. that out. That is a cave salamander, you see it? That's what we're looking for, right? That's the one. Now they are fast. As soon as it realizes that we're real close, it may bolt. So I'm just gonna go ahead and catch it. Okay. I'm gonna kind of cut my hand over gently and scoop it into the palm of my hand. You ready? Got him. Okay, cool. Here, let's, uh, let's head down to flatter ground so we can fill this. Okay, perfect. Yes! Got a cave salamander. This is one of the rarest salamanders you can possibly come across. Here we go, ready? There it is. Whoa. That is a cave salamander right there. Now I have to be incredibly gentle with this little amphibian. This is unbelievably beautiful. Look at that orange coloration with those black speckles. But look at it just slowly walking along there. And I'm gonna try to see if I can get it to walk from hand to hand. Now, the reason that these little creatures are so rare is they are very susceptible to pollution. And it's what's considered an indicator species. It gives us a good idea of what the pollution is like in a certain environment. And given the fact that this creature is living in this cave, it's a good chance this water is very healthy. Now, this is a lungless species of salamander, which means that it actually breathes through its skin. Isn't that cool? The salamander does not even have lungs. And you'll notice those little buggy eyes up front, very indicative of many amphibian species. You may be wondering to yourself, well, we're in a cave, it's completely pitch dark without these lights. Is this a blind salamander species? No, in fact, they can see, and they can see actually rather well in very low light like this, or I guess it's completely no light. And they use their eyesight to help them hunt for prey. They're eating small invertebrates like baby spiders, mites, worms, anything that's small and crawling around in this cave is fair game. I'm pretty impressed with how this salamander is just staying on the tips of my fingers. Look at that. Let me see if I can kind of turn it up like that so you can see it's back. Check that out. Now normally these salamanders have incredibly long tails. The tail is actually longer than the length of the body. 
But in this instance, this salamander is missing the tip of its tail. Can you see that? Now, it will grow its tail back. That's called caudal autonomy, something that lizards are also capable of doing. But keep in mind, this is an amphibian and not a reptile like a lizard. And how rare are these salamanders? Really pretty rare. In most places, they're considered endangered. Um, and we do have special permits to be in this cave and to be getting the cameras up close and even handling this amphibian. And as you can see, I'm not actually trying to hold onto it. I'm just letting it rest on top of my hand. This is a fragile ecosystem. Oh, incredibly fragile. We actually had to decontaminate our boots and our clothes with a spray before we came into the cave to make sure we didn't bring in any contaminants from the outside forest area. As you notice, I haven't really been touching the walls at all. We've been very careful where we've been stepping. And of course, we want to just handle this amphibian as gently as possible and for as little time as possible. This little guy is so cool. Well, I would definitely say that that was one epic adventure, traversing through the forest to ultimately find this cave and then coming across one incredibly rare amphibian. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. See you later, little salamander. Throughout parts of its range, the cave salamander is considered an endangered species. Their susceptible nature to environmental pollutants has unfortunately pushed them closer to the brink of extinction. However, it's remote, protected, and healthy ecosystems like this one that have allowed these fragile amphibians to carry on an incredible fight for survival. I feel incredibly fortunate to have seen one of these animals in the wild, and I hope that as conservation efforts continue, maybe one day you will see one too. That is, if you are willing to go deep into a cave to find one. Woo! Ah! That is some cold water right there, but we made it! Oh, it is good to see daylight. If you thought the cave salamander was one brightly colored amphibian, make sure to go back and watch the episode where I finally managed to catch a green and black poison frog. And don't forget, subscribe so you can join me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail. All of this area like this, just a matter of kind of trekking through it and getting lucky actually spotting one. All right, I'm heading into here.